What's going on everyone? We're back with another video in my iOS interview question series and today we're going to be doing a coding challenge specifically talking about finding the most common element in an array. Now this question skews more towards the beginner aspect of these kind of coding challenges. I have seen this a lot in like a take home coding quiz as one of the questions. I've also seen this as part of a phone screen and it is one of the more common questions that I've seen. So I wanted to go over it for sure. Now, as with all these coding challenges, there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. So please, if you know of a different way, a faster way, definitely leave a comment about it. That way everybody else can see it and everybody else can learn from it. So with that being said, let's kind of talk about the problem uh, that you're gonna see. Like I said, you're gonna get this huge long list. In, in our cases, we're gonna be having a list of colors. This could be a list of anything, a long list of numbers, long list of cities, a list of characters in a sentence. Uh, basically, you're, you're finding the most common element in a list and then also giving the count of that element. For example, we're going to work with a list of colors and we're going to find what color appears the most and how many times does it appear. All right, let's do it. All right, so as you can see, I have this giant array of colors. And as I mentioned in the intro, this can be anything like, imagine like a list of cities you have to go through, or say you have a list of a thousand names that you wanna go through and get the most common name. Um, this is, uh, like I said, in our example, we're just using colors, but you can imagine this is a pretty useful function uh, that can be used for a variety of, of different objects. So uh, like I said, we're using colors and this is a relatively small list. Like this is only, I don't know, roughly 30 or so. And uh, you can already tell that it would be really hard to like sit there and count each one. Not really hard, but it would take a little time. Uh, so just imagine if you had a list of, like I said, a thousand. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and get started on our, our function. Uh, so let's talk about what this function is going to do and just a very high level of how we're going to solve this problem. So basically what we're going to do is we're gonna iterate through this array, uh, each one of these colors here, and we're gonna construct a dictionary. So for every color we find, we're gonna create a key for that color, and then we're gonna create a value for that color. The first time we see that color, that value is gonna be one, and then every subsequent time we see that color, we're just gonna increment that value uh, up to two and three and so forth until we get through the whole array, and now we have a dictionary of just keys of each color only once, uh, so there's only gonna be one red, one green, one black, so to speak. Uh, and then next to that color, there's gonna be a value. It could be like 12, 11, 10, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, so that's the gist of how we're gonna solve this problem. And then we're gonna return an array of these colors. The reason we're returning an array is because, uh, you know, there's a pretty good chance that there's there's gonna be a tie for number one. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna be the case or this. I haven't actually counted these colors, but uh, just imagine if there's, you know, 12 reds and 12 greens. Uh, you know, you're gonna have two of them or if there's a three-way tie. Uh, so that's why we return an array so that we can return a list of the most common. Uh, you know, there's a strong chance it's only going to be one, but uh, it's not out of the question to have a tie for first place. So that's the basic gist of how we're gonna solve this problem. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And let's start with our function here. So uh, let's do func uh, get most common color. And that takes in an array. Uh, it's an array of strings. Now, uh, now that I'm looking at this, like I could have done this in, as an array of like UI colors, um, but I just chose to do it as string. But I just want to put that out there that you could do this uh, as an array of UI color. And then we are going to return, like I said, uh, with the proper return there, uh, an array of strings. And it's going to return. Uh, just so Xcode doesn't yell at me, I need to give it an empty uh, array for now. We're gonna fix that obviously as we go through this. So like I said, we're gonna build a dictionary and then after that dictionary is built, we're gonna go through that dictionary and create an array based on the highest values. So let's go ahead and create that array that we're going to get. Um, we'll just call that top colors and that is going to be an array of strings again, because that's what we're working with here. Uh, that's gonna equal empty because we're gonna append stuff to it as we iterate through our dictionary. And then let's go ahead and create that dictionary that we're gonna need, call it color dictionary. And that is, uh, the keys are gonna be strings, pretty much as always in a dictionary. And then the values are going to be uh, ints, because again, we're just keeping account of how many times we see each color uh, as we go through it. So now that we have the uh, you know array that we're gonna return and the dictionary we're gonna iterate through, let's go ahead and start building that dictionary. Uh, so like I said, we're gonna iterate over the color array that we pass in uh, here. So basically when we, when we call this function, uh, we're gonna be passing in this color array as this parameter. So uh, let's go ahead and for color in array, let's go ahead and build the dictionary. So uh, like I mentioned, the first pass, the first time we see a color, uh, we're gonna check to see what its count is. If its count is nil, we're gonna go ahead and make that count one because it's the first time we're seeing it. However, let's say it's the third time we saw it and the count is three, 
Uh, so that means the count is not going to be nil. So we're going to use an if let if let statement. Um, so if the count is not nil, and let's say we find a three, we're just going to increment that count by one. So now the count is four. So let me go ahead and type that out. So if let count equals uh, color dictionary, and then this is for the uh, value at key color. And remember, color is as we're iterating through this dictionary. So just to really illustrate this, the first time we're passing through, color is going to equal red. So what we're doing this first pass through is for red, essentially, I'm sorry, the color is going to equal red. So the count is going to equal color dictionary, the value at key red, because it's the first time through. Um, so basically, if that count is nil, so if it's the first time we see it, which it is, uh, well, actually, in, in this part of the, do it, uh, the if statement, we're going to do if it's not nil. So let's go ahead and write that out. Sorry for the confusion there. I'll, I'll, I'll do a run through again afterwards to kind of really drive the point home. So uh, the, we want to set the value for the key uh, color, which again, in this case is red, because our first time through, uh, equals count plus one. So like I said, this is the case where if we find red and we find red has a count of two, now we just want to bump that count up by one because it's the, the third time we've seen red. And then now, uh, like I mentioned before, if the count is nil, like if there's no count, that means it's the first time we've seen the color, we're going to go ahead and set that count to one. So color dictionary, and then for the, uh, again, this color is the key, the value at this key is going to equal one. So let's do this run through real quick again. And I know I kind of already did this, but uh, for red, for like the very first time through. So it's our very first iteration, color equals red. So we check what is the count for color? It is zero right now. So we're gonna go into the else block and set that count to one. So the next one is green. It's the first time we've seen green. So count for the color green is going to be nil. And so now we go into the else statement. So now uh, the count for the color green is one. Okay, cool. Now it's where it gets different. On this pass, this green, now uh, the count for uh, the value at key green is one, because right, we just added it to one. So now we actually go into this uh, first if block of the if let statement, and we increment that count by one. So now the green count would be two. So now you can see how we're building our dictionary for each color. So that's step one. Now step two is to iterate over that dictionary we just built and find out which colors have the highest value so that we can put those colors into an array and then return that array and say, here's the, the colors that have the most occurrences. So first we need to get that highest value. And so we'll do let highest value equal color dictionary. And this is something you can do on dictionaries. Um, you can just, they have a values property. So this is all the values in the dictionary. So basically all these integers. Uh, so like I said, if you can imagine right now our dictionary has just a list of all our colors only once and each color has the count of how many times we saw that next to it. So we're um, just basically have this group of all the counts. So we want to get values dot max. So now we have our highest value. And now that we have the highest value, uh, let's go ahead and iterate through our dictionary. Go ahead and make some room here. So this is how we iterate through dictionaries for and we do the key and then the value. Uh, in color dictionary. And then, so now what we want to do is we want to see if the count of this, of each color, because again, we're just going to iterate through, you know, red, green, black, blue, whatever, um, and then get the count next to it. So we want to see if, uh, if color dictionary, uh, the value for the key of color. So again, this is going by each color and looking for the count to that color uh, equals is equal to highest value if that is the case, so basically we have our highest value, it's gonna be one number, let's say it's 13. Uh, so basically we're gonna look for the value next to each color. If that value is 13, we're gonna append it to our top colors array. So top colors dot append new element uh, color. So now uh, we wanna return, we're not returning an empty array anymore, we're returning top colors and that should wrap it up. Let's go ahead and run it and see what we get when we um, return. Well, actually, no, never mind. I have to call the function. That would help. So get most common colors, and we want to pass in that color array at the top. And then let's go ahead and run it. But I got to bring out this uh, this guy over here first, so it'll show up there. 
Let's go ahead and run it and uh, you see we get uh, green. So there's 29 colors we went through. We see the highest value is eight. Uh, so in green is the only one uh, we found. So like I said, I, I didn't count all these colors beforehand. So I had no clue what was gonna show up or if there was gonna be a tie. Um, you know, I, I'm thinking about going through and like making it a tie somehow, but I would have to find the next highest color and do that. And I think that would be boring for you guys to watch. So just know that this could return an array of multiple colors and that's what you're returning. It just happened to return one green and there's eight, uh, eight greens in there. So that is the most common one. And again, just to reiterate the two steps. Uh, so like I said, when you get this, like I've had to actually do this on a whiteboard. Like it's nice when you have, uh, you know, the luxury of doing it on a computer, right? That makes it easier. But this is actually a common whiteboard question as well. So um, just when you're doing it on the whiteboard, just remember there's two main steps. You have to create your dictionary by iterating uh, over the array. And then once you have your dictionary, you have to iterate over that dictionary to find the uh, highest value or whatever color has the highest value. Uh, so there you go. All right, so that does it for another coding challenge. Hope you found this useful. Definitely practice this one. This one comes up a lot. Uh, if you found this video at all useful, go and hit subscribe. I put out new videos all the time.